Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, it's time for us to push up all of our hard work to our GitHub repository. Let's get right to it. This is going to fall as one of the lessons in the image gallery project, but for my classroom students and for, quite honestly for anyone, this is kind of what I would deem a utility video uh, or in a process that is going to happen every single time you are working in your integrated development environment. And for my students we're using Cloud9, we want to get this work pushed up or synced up to our cloud, our uh, GitHub repository. So let's get to it. We are going to need to um, authenticate ownership over our GitHub account. And in order to do that, GitHub has just stepped up its security a little bit. You may have referenced or remembered this in a previous video. What I'd like you to do is have one tab open with the repository for the project. Tab number two open to github.com when you do that. Click, pull down the menu near your profile or your avatar in the upper right hand corner. Head on down to settings. Now we're going to go to the settings menu on the left hand side and we want to go all the way down to developer settings. And we want to choose personal access token. So again here, um, I, I did mention this in a previous, but we'll mention it again. We want to generate token. It's going to ask you to confirm your password. This is just an added security step. Once you do that, now we're on the new personal access token page. Let's type in a note for this, and I'm just gonna type in the project name. Honestly, you could type in any note. Here's the key. You could put any dates in, customer, whatever. And then the most important part for us right here is we want to click the repository or repo settings. That's all we need to do. Now, once we scroll down here, generate token. And here is where your organization comes in. This personal access token will work until you that expiration date you just set. So as we work through this, and again, this is going to be almost a daily process of pushing our work from Cloud9 to GitHub you can store this somewhere else and access it each time. I'm not quite that organized, so what I do every time is I create a personal access token, and then while I'm working, I keep this tab open, access it for my workflow for that day, and then I generate a new one. Not the best, uh, but again, it's the option is yours. So ultimately, we want this tab open. Keep it there. We're going to hit the copy button eventually when needed. Okay, so back to our cloud nine integrated development environment. And let's, we're, our work is going to be done now in the terminal. We have some recent work done. So again, imagine this is at the end of a class or at the end of a workflow. And we want to execute a couple of Git technology commands in the command line interface. So that's where we're going to the terminal. That's our CLI command line interface. And we want to make sure that you are working in the proper folder. So we want to type in CD for the Linux command change directory. And I want to change directory into the project. Remember, if I type in a couple of unique characters and then tab, it may recognize the rest of the folder and make life easier for me. To confirm, I now see the name of the folder for the project I'm working on and also main in parentheses. That coincides with, if we go back to our GitHub repository, it coincides with the main branch that we have selected in which we are working on. So we want to get those two talking again. So let's do that. We have four commands to run here. The, and each time we're running commands, it is going to be a git command. So git, first one is status. And status tells us the, the status of the local repository, the exact same files are stored on the server in the cloud with AWS. We want that to communicate from this local repo to the GitHub repo. So we have two modifications, our readme file and our index.html, and that should make sense. So our next command is going to be git add and then space dash a. Now what we're doing, you could do git add and then the name of the files, but git add and then space capital A is saying, please add all of these modified files 
to a staging area to update them in the local repository. So that is done. Uh, another option you could uh, have here to clearly see this is type in clear. And now all we did was push up the work above. Let's run git status again and see if there was any changes. And now it says two files are no longer read. They are staged to be committed. So next command is git commit, C-O-M-M-I-T, space dash M. This space dash M is very important. And now open a set of quotes. Your commits need to have some kind of description for the work done. Uh, so we will put in begin HTML project structure, close quotes, and you will see that com uh, that commit message shortly. Okay, let's run a git status again. And now it says your branch is ahead of the original or the origin main by one commit. So that origin main is in GitHub. We are locally at AWS. We want those two to connect. So let's hit clear and we want to run git push. That's our command. Now, if you remember, it said origin. So I don't have to put that website address in. They know each other now. It, it, it remembers from the clone what the address is. So now I just put origin and that's enough to say for the technologies to speak together. And it's also saying, okay, what branch and we want main. So git push origin main. And now your username. And this is the username for GitHub. So right now we are asking for permission from cloud nine to access GitHub. Hit enter and now it's asking for a password. This is the moment you want to go back to that personal access key, click on copy, come back. And now the one thing about the password here, it will not indicate any typing is being done, but it is. That's another security feature. So hit control V, nothing happens, but it's there. Hit enter and it's saying now writing objects and you could tell that some work has been done let's confirm to make sure this is complete so i'm just going to hit clear clear out that terminal and i'm going back to my github repository here is the ultimate check if i hit restore now take a look at the readme and the index file here there is our begin html project structure if i click on and open that file now I have all of the work that we did in Cloud9 right here in GitHub and it's stored and that's exactly the workflow we want. So one more time just to review, we want to make sure we have set up a personal access token at the ready. We want our Cloud9 in the proper folder. This is where I forget all the time. So you wanna go down and make sure that you change directory into that proper project folder and it has to be the root of the project folder. Then we run four commands, git status, see what it tells us, git add space capital A, please add all of the newly modified files to a staging area for the local repository, git commit space lowercase m, and then in quotes, a descriptive commit message that tells you what it represents and then finally get push origin main and that commit message what we want to do now is we want to be able to go back and if anything ever happens we could access prior commit messages so we have now communicated with get status add commit and push and we've communicated our work locally at aws up to to the GitHub repository in which we're storing and using our project. That was easy, but this is going to be, again, part of your daily workflow. So keep an eye out for this video. This is going to show up as, I believe, lesson four in our image gallery project, but it will be used and identified elsewhere, elsewhere as well. So thank you for coming along. Hope you picked up a few items here. We'll see you in the next one, everyone.